Hey everybody, this is Walnut Fox here. I wanted to go over and show you uh, another little you know, rebuild my uh, MCA selector tutorial. Was having uh, problems with the uh, audio on the first one back when 114 was being released. So, uh, with the threat of 1.15 coming, uh, is a holiday update, and as uh, 1.16 looms around the corner, the middle of next year probably. Uh, with the nether update, uh, MCA selector is going to be something that can uh, help us trim everything off and uh, make ready for new features. So um, what you want to do is, is uh, you can go right here to, uh, this is a Google page, um, just a quick search uh, in this bar or this bar and just look for MCA selector. And hit enter and you'll be taken to you right here uh, quartz is the person that has uh, made this uh, done a super cool job since how uh, MC edits not really keeping up with a lot of stuff so this is a really really easy lightweight program to uh, trim off a bunch of stuff and make uh, room for the new uh, features really so uh, you can read about all the patch notes right here. Uh, initially, it only worked in 1.13 with a 1.6 version of MCA Selector. Uh, if you download it now, you'll get the 1.8.3, which works with all the way up to 1.14.4. So you click download here, and it'll take us to MCA Selector 1.8.3. Uh, you can click on this, and it will begin it's download so once it's downloaded and it shows up down here and it says open in folder or open when you click on it you will end up with this right here so this is the MCA selector screen to get there uh, to get something on this screen we use file open and uh, it goes right to your Minecraft saves in the app data folder. So this is a backup copy of you know the old server. This is a backup copy of uh, this server, and uh, that we're on. It's a couple days old. So what we would, to load this in? Obviously, you'll make a backup copy just in case you accidentally delete some stuff go to regions and then this folder is going to be empty and that threw me off uh, the first time I ever used this I thought I was doing something wrong there were no files in here it's okay don't worry about it there are files in there it's just MCA selector doesn't care it just wants the folder itself so we push select folder and there it is there is our overworld as of right now so this is a uh, been trimmed recently i've been making sure that everything works before i started recording <laughs> so this is spawn right here okay to uh, zoom in and out obviously is your mouse wheel to scroll it back and forth uh, to move around so that you can see other parts of the world click your mouse wheel and just drag it around Okay. All right. If you scroll out far enough, it gets mighty big. So there's been some people flying around out here with elytra. So it was. We'll go through and we'll prune off all this here. We don't want to go 600 million miles to get the new stuff for 115 and 1.16. Now, the gray regions, there's nothing loaded there. So. All of the regions that are black, these are lazy processing. They've been loaded in, but nothing has actually loaded in. It's just something the game does. So to select the chunks and the regions at this zoom level, these are regions. You just left click on these. Uh, you can also left click and drag to uh, drag large areas. If you think that you've made a mistake, like you've gone and wiped out spawn and somebody else's uh, 
base. Just remember, you know, don't save it yet. <laughs> uh, don't tell it to delete nothing. Uh, if you right click on that, it will deselect those areas. Okay. If we want to just remove some chunks, we just have to scroll in to where we can see chunks and say we want to keep this village that's here and there's a village here, but we're not going to worry about it. We can select the chunks that are outside by clicking on these and you can click and drag. See now we made a mistake in here, so we'll just take these out because we want all of that village, right? Click and drag some more. We can even do that. Okay. So that'll get rid of these chunks, uh, but leave these. Okay. So if we scroll back out, we can get rid of the rest of these. Let's take, just take all these boxes here. And, oh, oh, geez. Oh, geez. We don't want to do that, do we? <laughs> So we just fix that real quick. But we're going to have to come back in here and redo the chunks. <laughs> so not a huge ordeal. Oh, geez. There we go. Oh, okay. Do that. Do this. Do right in here the click and drag sometimes can be a little bit finicky but it's okay and they don't have to be straight lines like i said you can just pick should we just pick like those three and this one and that one right there and we'll see how it comes out okay all right you've got everything selected that you want you can delete the selected chunks you can export these to a file and then you can import them into the, a different world. Um, so you would have to export these to a file, open up a new overworld, and then import these into that other world. So where this is down here, where it shows regions, chunks, and blocks, uh, if you wanted region 1.7 right here in a different world, to be exactly like this chunk, uh, region here, or a chunk or a block, you can export those to a file, and then you can import them into a different world. Okay, so I'm not going to go over that today, but it's uh, something that this will do. It's pretty powerful. So uh, you've got everything selected that you want to get rid of. You just tell it to delete selected chunks. It's going to say, hey, this is a whole lot of stuff. Are you sure? Tell it yes. Boom. They're gone. Everything's gone. So let's scroll in here and see how that did. See, it took out all of the chunks that we just single clicked on. Okay. So it's not just regions. It can do chunks. It can do anything. So the other thing, since how we've got... Uh, the nether update coming up is, is we can come in here, go to the dimensions file, the regions, select that folder, and here it is. It's not a very big nether. I'm the only one that's been there. So uh, there was these other regions right here, but we pruned those a little bit earlier testing this. So uh, works the same here. Uh, our nether is... Uh, it's kind of crappy. <laughs> I started on a blaze farm right here trying to condition the area. That's a blaze spawner surrounded by sea lanterns. So, anywho, same thing here. You can just take and remove all these chunks if you want. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one maybe up here, and then a little section right over there good okay and then same thing delete the select chunks yep boom so now it keeps everything that we did not select so our nether is getting smaller all right 
Uh, we can also, I'm sure that you've probably seen this coming, we can also do the end. So just go to the region file, and here's our end. So this was when we did, um, there were two end cities right here, but uh, you know, with several people on the uh, server, try uh, and our end gateway going right here, we refreshed it so everybody could go get some elytra real quick. Now we can go and travel out and around. So uh, we've got the standard Nimbon mini ender right here, which is uh, not necessarily lined up on a chunk border. Uh, fortunately, that's kind of been fixed. <laughs> so this is our end island. And if uh, we wanted to refresh some of these, we can do that. And then we can scroll in and just get rid of a few chunks. Say right here, we just want this stuff right here to uh, go away. Same thing. Delete them. It's going to say, hey, that's a lot. Are you sure? You can't undo it. And push OK. And forever and for always now, when you go back through this end gateway, it will refresh all of this. It actually puts you out right about in here somewhere. So it'll reload all this. All right. So the next time you open up your Minecraft world, this will all be brand new. It'll reload it. And it'll uh, add all of the uh, the new features. So hopefully that's uh, helped you out. And uh, it'll uh, keep things moving. Uh, that way you can see where everything's at. Again, don't forget that your uh, regions and your chunk numbers and all your block numbers are displayed down there when you point at them. Yeah, it's kind of handy to know some of that sometimes. So if you uh, if this one's been better and it's helped you out and you liked it, uh, give me a like rating uh, if you want. Uh, if you feel like I deserve it, and you know if you're looking for more content like this. Uh, you know, subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. So, and uh, hit the bell to be notified if I put out a new video. I'm gonna keep out putting videos out. So, uh, and as always, you know, make sure that you uh, have some fun and play some games. See ya.